Hi folks, we're back again. I'm scooping out this um, little bit behind the ears here. And you want to leave some extra room when you cut the ears out. I know this is way too big than what this actually looks like, but that's okay. We, you know, better to have too much of an ear than not enough. Um, and because if you make a mistake, you can go back and correct it. So we're going to just scoop out behind the ears a little bit and rounding off the body before we actually get into the ear portion here. We're going to cut this off at the top here. Get my finger out of the way there. I don't need to be cutting anything off. Um, I've been very blessed. I've been called back to work, so you won't see as much of me online, but uh, you know, I'll try to keep these videos coming. Um, my that new one uh, that uh, I have um, is going to be fun. See how I have this scooped out? Let me see if I can show this. Here. Whoops. See how I have this scooped out a little bit? See it come? It's curved in here a little bit. All right, and I kind of give it the cheek here. Uh, we're going to do that as well in, in just a second here. But we're just rounding off the body a little bit yet. Trying to give it some some texture, you know, some shape, I mean. So. Uh, you know, getting a profile of your piece is very, very important. If you don't have a good profile, folks, you're not going to be able to do a good job. I, I feel a lot of times it's how good of a profile you have on your piece. Um, it's also ability to do it, but it's also having a good pattern and a good uh, sort, a good way of doing things. So, okay, so that's what we have there. Okay, it's a little bit rounded now. See how that, uh, how important that center line is to know exactly where you are in the carving. If you don't have that, it becomes very difficult to figure out exactly where you're at. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back up here to the ears and we're going to start scooping out the center. And what I do is little V cuts like, like so. You don't want to go over too far. You don't want to go too deep. That's about as deep as I want to go there because I'm going to start scooping that out. And it's very important to have a nice little detailed knife when you're working on this. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get that ear to be um, you know, you're going to scoop this out a little further here. Okay, we're going to have that ear turning a little bit anyway, so we're going to scoop this out just like so. Alright, we're going to worry about the top later and we're going to scoop this out just like so. Alright, see how we did that? We're just scooping it to the center line there. That's all we're doing. Okay, we're going to scoop that little piece out there. It's, you know, you can get different knives to do different things. You really need to have a nice pointy knife to get in between things. You can use a little gouge as well if you like. That's entirely up to you. But I like using just a pointy knife and, you know, letting the knife do the work. If you have the knife sharp enough, you should be able to do it mostly everything with a knife. When we do our other project called Helping Friends, we're going to use some gouges on that. Um, folks, I really won't know the number on those gouges. They've been so old and, and I'm so used to using a knife. But I'll give you a, a rough estimate in the size. I'll give you a good picture of the gouges that I use. So if you decide to go somewhere and get something similar, uh, you'll be able to do, to, to do that. All right, so we're just cutting out the ears yet a little bit, and what I'm going to start doing is that head has to be a little smaller, so we're just going to chop this out underneath here, just like so. Okay, on one side, we're going to do this on the other side as well, just like so. See how I'm pushing with my knife with my thumb? That is such a safe way of, of carving, folks. It really is. Um, 
you really need to learn to use your thumb as a guidance. I'm not I'm not pushing with this hand, okay? Very, very little. Most of it's done by just either moving my carving piece a little bit or, you know, pushing the knife over or using that pivot motion like you see. All right. That takes some practice. You don't learn that overnight. It comes by doing it and learning as you go, uh, learn as you go type of thing. So, what we want to do is we just want to scoop this out a little bit here behind each ear. We're going to work our way down. Whoops. Down like so. We're going to just scoop that out. Now, when you scoop something like this out, it becomes kind of difficult just like so. Okay? Um, it becomes a little difficult to get a clean cut. That's when you can move your knife back and forth like when you slice. Um, just, you see how I'm, I'm sliding it and pushing it at the same time? Sometimes you can get a better cut that way, a cleaner cut. You know? So that's all you want to do there on that side. Okay? Now we'll go around and do this other side the same way, right behind the ear. We're going to cut that out to distinguish the head from the body. Let's go the other way. I'm just going to slice that out. Use that slicing motion again. So you can see we're shaping up that head, okay, and getting it where it should be. Now we're going to work in between the ears here in a second, but I want to first cut out where exactly these, these, um, when you go in the back of the ear, just kind of, you want, you don't want a straight cut at the bottom, okay. Well folks, we're almost out of time. I'm going to make another clip right after this one. We'll be right back.